But a man in way, all that are connected right up with them, Nagata, non quarrel, Nagata, Nagata. Because quite young one, none of the men on the one. Quite in Nana, no naka, a manga, mitata. Quite a kumi and torpa, Murnadala, Murra Ermangala, Quite a mar and the nonaka, Murnadala, Torpa Nichata. Yeah, <laughs> The water hole of running waters is very sacred. That was a very big living area for people. It was like a big camp because of the water. Way before the cattle came in, and they're all connected because the continuous flow of the water brought everybody together. <laughs> So our ancestors were very knowledgeable people. You had to know the land and you'd have to know the water seasons of when rain and know where the water's flowing and to know the animals that are living in the water because in that water it also carries life. That full knowledge and understanding as to going to uni to get a degree to be a lawyer or a doctor is also the same thing as you study to know the land, to know the water, and then you know how to manage not only the land, but you know how to manage the water also. Alice Springs is a really important place. We just happen to have a town built on our local country where we belong and where we have responsibilities for so there weren't really systems there in place for us to have a voice so a lot of the suburbs and the and the areas built around town were built without any real Aboriginal input and um, that's had a significant effect and an impact on our sacred sites around town. The Coolabar Swamp is an integral cultural site not just for Bandarinya people but for other peoples whose stories connected to the site as well. The swamp actually was a swamp in the past and water used to drain into it from what is now Burke Street used to be the creek that came from the northern catchment areas and flowed into the Coolabar Swamp. I'm Bandarinya, one of the Muragori. I'm Bandarinagori, Alice Spring. I'm going to go to the Palganajet. No green one, I don't know. I'm going to let you have a boy. But in a way, all that are connected right up with them. Nagata, no quarrel. Nagata, Korea, Nagata. And the Lamarai threw up on them. Quite general. Right up to something desert on them. Because family, my born two angel, another angel, a year angel, a year angel, four angels, and then I'm going to roll. That's why swamp and nag main on another again, no nag.
ಲಾಂತಲ್ಲ ಪೋಲೋ ಕಲ್ಕೊಂಡು ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಲಾಂಚ್ ಅಂದ ಹಂಗೆ ಕೂಡ್ರು ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೊಚ್ಚಿಂತರು ಚಾಟ ಐಚೆ ಟಮ್ ಕೊ ಜಾಟ ಟ್ರಾಟ್ ಟ್ರೋಟ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಲಾಕ್ ನಾ ನಾಂತ ಲಾಕ್ ಪೋಲೋ ಕಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಕೊ ನಂದು ಓದ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಮೊದ್ ತರ್ಕಾಯ್ ಕೆಚ್ಚ ಬಾಳಮ್ ನಾನು ಟಮ್ ಕ್ವಾಟ ಕು ಕ್ವಾಟ ಬ್ರಾಂಡ್ ಪೋಲೋ ಕೈಲೋ ಕಾಲ್ ಫೀಸ್ ಬಾ ಪ್ರಜಲ ಕರತ್ರು ನಕಾಲ್ ವಾಲೆ ತಕೋನ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಪ್ರೆಷಿಯಸ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ವಿ ಲುಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ವೈರನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಬುಷ್ ಫೂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ that's why we got fracking that we don't agree with that is really going to destroy and kill water down below poison our waters underneath the surface it's going to poison us that's why for us of chokorpa chokorpa still remains the same but we need to look after the country yes so i'm not going to get a quadra for that ಅವ್ರು ಏರಲ್ ಕೋ ಹೇಳ ಆರಾಮ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ರೂರಲ್ಸ್ ನಾನು ಪಾಗಲ ಜರ ಕ್ವಾಜ ಕೊರತಲ್ಲ ಬಾಡ್ ನನ್ನ ಕ್ವಾಜ ಕೊನೆ ಕೆನ್ನರ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಕ್ಲೈಮೇಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಕೊಡಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ಕ್ವಾಜ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಲೈಕ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಕೊಡಲ್ಲ you can see now physically on the site on the northern end of the Coolabar swamp all of the big Coolabar trees there they're all starting to die back and that's very significant and those trees are important to Mbandarinya people here and and others who connect to it for people living in the bush which are remotely the water is the only hope they have it's the only thing that they have to survive on to to live on when you're living at remote and you take that away then you're displacing culture you're displacing people people now if their water systems aren't secure and safe in those outstations in smaller communities people are forced to decide whether they they continue to stay there on their traditional country where they belong people that used to live in those communities are actually now living in Alice Springs because their water supplies aren't maintained like they used to be and that has a severe impact particularly on their living conditions and where they come to if they don't have anywhere to stay when they're in town they're either staying in the Todd River or on our small hills around the town and impacting on our sites and it's hard to manage that no one focuses on that impact and so i think there are real social issues that come out of um, not maintaining a water system those sort of things i think need to be thought about more around how to maintain and provide services to those remote communities because it's important we need to be thinking more long term rather than just quick fixes every now and then you know i think aboriginal people really need to be involved in the future development of all of the remote areas um they live there they understand the situation we've been here for a very 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 long time thousands of years we've found a way to be able to survive in remote areas you know climate change is something i think is happening we can see it here around where we are we see it in other parts of australia there's bushfires burning everywhere we're experiencing things i don't think that we've seen before and aboriginal people have got something to offer the rest of the world scientists working alongside and inviting indigenous people to make decisions and to work alongside each other in sharing information instead of us just being passive or on the side looking in we need to be included in in all all of the decision making somebody from the community or a group of people within the community to empower them to give them information about water management and to have them to be sitting at the table with the government and to be making decisions on behalf of the community with permissions given by elders within the community we can't always be divided anymore australia really needs to grow up 
um, realise and and stop denying and and come to a, a, a position where they feel comfortable to talk to Aboriginal people about how we can find a better way for a better future. But we can't do that when we're left out of those discussions. We need to be included and we have a lot to offer. I think that's why because all people not going to be alone. That's why we got a new little girl. Quite a way, you know. Quite a man in marble. Because we got a no, who are not going to think a little too. Chalangulu, Palbra Jangala, Manunangala, Murunyan Unyangoku, Manmurajar, Penajar, Penajar, Yan Unyang Chokurbaku. Yongolo, Milla Pinion, Yano Yango Korongoman, Yano Yango, taking Kajal Wurjar, Pawa Jeremy, Pawa Gulja Manga, not a Pawa Gulja, but a Kajal Milla Pinion. Lagadama, no, 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 Man <laughs> Mara Irmangala Quite a mar and a no naka Mrinadala Torpani Charter